handy folks, how are we doing? Uh, as you can see, we are we're bailing, we're bailing hay, and uh, this uh, this video is going to be about. Well, I've alluded to it in a, previous, in a couple of the previous videos. Um, I'm going to just do a quick video about how the baler operates and a bit about safety. Because on a lot of previous videos where you've seen the baler working, a lot of, you know, I often get a lot of comments saying, why is the tractor surging and why is the front of the tractor bouncing like that? You know, it'll be sort of vroom, vroom. Why is it doing that? Well, we're gonna, I'm just going to go through the operations of the baler, why it does things and the reasons why it does make the tractor surge like that. Right now, a little bit about safety first of all. Um, these are one of the most dangerous machines, uh, yeah, one of the dangerous machines on the farm. There's plenty of others, you've got combines, uh, potato harvesters, basically anything that's um, PTO driven or is oil driven. There's plenty of oil driven machines out there, like a bow bandit, um, are potentially mega dangerous. So I mean, it sounds simple, but good intact PTO guard. Every PTO machine should have one, and there's really no excuse this day and age to not have a proper PTO guard on the PTO. Uh, another thing is um, when you're going to work on a machine, especially like sometimes um, I have to get in there. See that shaft in there? There's uh, three grease nipples on that, and I have to get in there. Now to get in there, I have to go up on the back of the machine, over the top, and then stand basically in the in the machine. So when I'm doing that, the tractor's turned off, um, uh, and the keys are out of it, and that is on, which is the flywheel brake, which I'll show you now. It's quite a simple thing. It's just a band there with a brake pad in there. And that just does stop the flywheel from moving because even when a bale is settled like that, you can still get a bit of movement in it. So uh, whenever you're working on a machine, PTO driven, all driven, anything like that, anything with a potential um, for it to start up and mince you, add the tractor off, add the key out. Just you know, how long does it take? And it's just yeah, it might just save your life one day. Um, so what we're going to do now, see as we've got, I've got the guards lifted, um, I am going to fire it up and I'm going to show you the operations. Right, so we're going to fire it up now. Right, now the fast track has got a, a good couple of features, um, safety features. It has got an automatic PTO cutout on it. Um, so, um, if I start the PTO up and then get off the tractor, it will automatically cut out. Now, it has got an override on it, which you, if you want to override, you have to do it each time you start the tractor up. Um, for the purposes of this demonstration, we are going to do it. So, we go into there, into the PTO, click that, click that. Now, I can, can get off the tractor and it won't cut out. Um, there are sometimes you do need to, like when we're pumping slurry, um, you don't want to, yeah, you need to be able to get off the tractor with the with the PTO running. So there are times when you know you need to be able to get off the machine with the PTO going. So if we will now fire it up, it does take a lot of revs to, to fire it up. It's quite a big flywheel on this. What we, ah, what we will do though is we will turn that off because it will demonstrate the. Um, demonstrate when I rev it up you'll see the baler sway back and forth they're doing it a little bit now you'll see so normal practice don't do this but I'm doing it to show you the process of the baler so here you've got the pickup coins they pick the grass up off the floor there that then feeds into this feed roller here, which has got all the flights either side. And then that goes into the star drive there, 
which feeds it into the freeze stuffer mechanism. Now this is the freeze stuffer. At the minute it's set to put a, a wad of straw, a wad of hay, into the chamber on every other stroke. Well actually on, no, on every on every round stroke rather. But this runs at twice the speed of the, of the, of the main ram there. So you see it's doing a half, one, then it puts the one up, a half, and then it puts the one up. Now it's quite a complicated system that is, and it can vary itself. It's hydraulically uh, variated. Now you see there on them wheels, that is the main ram. And then when the free stuffer puts it up, it's up there, the ram's in the back position, so it can take a load of hay in front of it. Then the ram comes down and squishes it into the chamber. Just about to see what we up there. There's the flywheel, there's quite a big flywheel in this. It's not as big as some, but the flywheel size is quite critical. That's where it takes, you know, that's where all the inertia is. The bigger the flywheel, the less surging you get on the baler because the, the flywheel take, you know, it's got momentum. It's got, uh, it's got torque there. So it's, you know, every time that ram hits back, that's when you, you use your peak power. And that's when you get the roar on the tractor and when you get the front come down. So what I'm going to just do now, demonstration is we're gonna we're gonna rev it up now to full speed you'll see now how much the tractor's going backwards and forwards that's purely where that ram's moving and that's what gives you when you're going along and you put your crop up the, up into there Every single round is a room. That's why you get that surge. You can see how fast everything operates. I'll do a demonstration in a minute with a one with a uh, bit of broken bow. Just how quick it goes up that front. So you can imagine. If you get caught by that thing. That's it. Game over. That would not be a nice place to end up. So whatever you do, give these machines respect. That's what it looks like coming out the other end. It's just a bit of a vicious machine. So there we go folks, that's uh, that's the video. We've been wanting to do that for about a month now. Um, I know it's a mad time of the year for all of us. Uh, and you know, there's no time to do anything, is there? You know, it's flat out, flat out everything. Especially for the, sort of the big farms and the contractors and that. But do just take a minute just to do something a bit safer. If, you know, you get, you know, the baler gets a bit straw caught in the sort of side of it or whatever. Just turn it off. You know, our, you know it, it, it's not going to cost you any more time. It just might save your life, though. So, um, I hope that's answered a few questions. It's been quite an interesting video. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta!